<laughs> lip care is very important this dry months if you do not um, have a lip balm yeah this is a lip balm from my product line if you do not have a lip balm you can use vesting very important this dry months Just ignore this face <laughs> okay i have a video where i spoke about how i got this sudden breakout blah 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 change in weather the story is long but if you're ready to listen you can just check um i'll drop the link in the description space but it's very important aside from um using actives like retinoids ahas bhas there are some staple there are some key that needs to be added in this season of dry weather what do i mean by season of dry weather the hamatans have really covered most part of my country let me speak where i stay in nigeria mm -hmm. i'm an african content creator based in nigeria if you're seeing this face for the first time my name is asma Zakari. okay so realizing that hamatan has really set in for real for it in as much as the south south part of the country where i'm based it's still raining a little bit but you could just still feel the dryness and the dust as well so there are some skincare products that i decided to bring here to my people and just tell you why you should add them this season it's very important first and foremost is the micellar water i have a micellar water from my product line this is like a 500 ml i have a 250 ml as well um this is actually a customer's order basically so my cellar water is very important for double cleansing. The weather is very dusty. If you don't double cleanse, you're going to have breakouts. I assure you. My cellar water is very, very important. Then followed by face wash. Now, not just any type of face wash. Um, face washes that have mild surfactant in them. Because at this point, you do not need face washes that will strip your skin of its moisture. So take note of the surfactant, avoid face uh, washes that we have surfactant like sodium laurel sulfate. That is going to worsen your condition during these dry months because um, surfactant with SLS um, is going to be too harsh. It's going to be too stripping to the skin. So take note of the surfactants that are going to be in your face wash. Then another very important one that even if you didn't take so serious, you should take it serious now is the facial toner. Not only are you bringing back a very convenient comfortable ph to the skin facial toners non-exfoliating facial toner to be more specific is going to very um, it's going to be very handy very very important this period this season that the weather is dry and therefore the skin has this tendency of looking shrinky and looking so dry so hydrating toners will be very very key even if, like I said, even if you didn't take them serious before these few months of dryness, you have to take them serious. Then the hydrating essence is another one that is another luxury you want to add. Although this my hydrating essence has licorice extracts in it, therefore it's good for trying to work on your hyperpigmentation alongside hydrating the skin. There is no other active in it per se. Even my facial toner has no, um, like what do I mean by there is no active, there's no exfoliating active in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I mean. But there's a little bit of tyrosinase inhibitor in the hydrating essence. Um, a very little bit as well of tyrosinase inhibitor in the facial toner, but mostly jam packed with um, hydrating products. It has hydrating uh, humectants as well. It has the sodium lactate, it has, um hydronic acid it has um vegetable glycerin it has pantanol beautiful amazing hydrating products and then i can't speak about products that will favor these drier months without talking of moisturizing you know there's a difference between hydrating and moisturizing i said it in one of my video when you talk of hydrating you're more of trying to trap um water yeah Hydrating is linked to humectant and hydrosol as well. But moisturizing is linked to oils. After hydrating the skin, in order to keep those hydrators on the skin, to encourage um, the efficacies of those hydrators, moisturizing is a good one. Moisturizers come in very handy to seal in the hydrating products that you have. 
put on your skin then a particular sealant itself is body oil these dry months you need body oil even if you were not a body oil type you need this body oil and this body oil is an occlusive body oil meaning there's an occlusive ingredient in it yeah so um sealing in the hydrating products and the moisturizing products with a body oil this dry month is very key it's very very important then handmade soaps this is handmade soap this is a cool process handmade soap um from the saponification process so there is a good amount of super fat in handmade soap that will not strip the skin because this dry months at this point when you use um bar soaps that are not will i say <laughs> moisturizing because handmade soaps actually they have moisturizing properties they have moisturizing characteristics yeah and um, if you watch some of my videos i spoke about where i spoke about handmade so maybe i'll look for one or two of them and drop in the description space so that you can just click on it and watch it but handmade soaps will come in very handy if you do not want to use body washes body washes are another awesome one this season yeah because they're not going to strip your skin like that um bar cleansing bars are also good ones yeah this period as well like all those ole um baby johnson soaps detail skincare all those are cleansing bars that will come in handy just like your handmade soaps as well that will also come in handy this is not going to strip your skin i hope i'm not talking too much maybe i don't know if i have one or two videos about it, but i think i won't get tired of talking about handmade soaps i'll still bring up a video very important to break down more and more in as much as i guess i have some but i'll just bring up an updated one then face creams can also be very relevant this period because the sun is extra so you need a lot of um, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation products. Yeah, the face cream is an awesome one. This face cream also contains good tyrosinase inhibitors. Then how can I not talk about sun protection factor? This period, not only is the weather dusty, dry, it's sunny, super sunny because the rains have really set back a little bit and therefore the sun is at its best. So um, I just decided to just bring in some few. Uh, products that will be very beneficial these drier months yeah very very beneficial these drier months you know we've spoken about so many actives most of the time but beyond actives there are so many other beautiful products that can come in to support the skin you know when the raining season has sort of withdrawn like when the rain has sort of withdrawn obviously we have seasons different seasons right every year during the rainy season we're very very comfortable because the environment is humid our skin is benefiting from the humidity in the environment so therefore we certain we, we tend to drop some certain um skincare products but as soon as the wet month is gone the dry month has set in those toners you abandoned it's, if they are not yet expired it's time for you to resume those hydrating essence that you thought they were giving you extra steps in your skincare, I think it's time for you to go back to them. Moisturizing has become very compulsory. You know, as much as the weather is really hot, you just have to try. Try, try. Even if it's just at night where maybe your movement is not going to be much that you sweat a lot. And that's why I introduced the occlusive body oil. Very important that you could use maybe during the day. Make sure your body is damp when you're using it because this will give you maybe less heat for those of you that will say that cream makes you sweat during the day and all of that i think your occlusive oil will do a good job i'm not saying you should replace your oil with your moisturizer your moisturizer are still very important but just try to find a balance not to leave the skin dry especially these drier months if you were able to go scot-free leaving your skin dry during the rainy season not now you will not like what it's going to look like you're not going to like what it's going to look like so basically this brings me to the end of this video I used the face mask with a green clay, but mind you, the face mask was in an emotion. So this dry month, you can't afford to use face masks that will dry out your skin the more. You have to use face masks that will help with moisturizing. Hope to see you in another video soon. Thank you. Stay blessed. Bye.